Good evening, everyone. I'm Kamen Anchev. We're less than two days away from the Red Wolves and Raging Cajuns rivalry. We've talked plenty about ULL star running back Elijah McGuire, but what about the quarterback? A-State practice tonight as Freddie Knighton's at full strength and certainly hoping for another great game against ULL like last year. But on the other side of things, the Cajuns had a quarterback controversy this year, but junior Jalen Nixon has emerged as the guy the last few weeks. The dual threat QB is coming off the best game of his career when he had 238 passing yards and three passing touchdowns in a win against Texas State. He also had 45 yards on the ground and the rushing TD. Well, I thought they found a, found a way last week to make things comfortable for him, and he had a great game against Texas State. I think it's been a work in progress. You don't lose a senior like Broadway without some, some growing pains, but they've gotten better with him along the way and found what works for him. And you can see that take a hold in the last game, and, and they found some comfort with him. To the NFL, Marcus Mariota has set all sorts of Titans and NFL rookie records early in the season, but today the rookie quarterback encountered a lot of adversity. The Titans took on the Dolphins and interim coach Dan Campbell. Second quarter, a late hit on Mariota's left knee, but he would stay in the game who have an MRI on Monday. Have to wonder whether the injury affected him, though. A couple minutes later, here's one of Mariota's two fumbles on the day. 17-3 Dolphins in the third quarter now, and Mariota's picked by Rashad Jones, and he's headed to the end zone for the pick six and the fancy flip celebration. Look at him go. Mariota would regroup, though, the last play of the third quarter, a short touchdown pass, but the Dolphins ran away with it. Fourth quarter now, Mariota down the field in a diving interception by Brent Grimes. The Titans lose 38-10 to go to 1-4. One, one on the preps, here's a look at our Week 7 Sweetest Play of the Week nominees. We start with the Game of the Week as Conlon Robinson bursts through the hole and heads to the house for a 64-yard touchdown. Batesville beats win 31-14. To our showcase game, a squib kick, and Dakota Moore picks it up, eludes the tackle, switches fields, takes it down the sideline, then makes a shifty cutback to get by a few more, and he's gone. Cross County beats CPC 35-12. We head to Gosnell for our third play. Ronnie McShann with the stiff arm, then the hurdle, then the power. Gosnell beats Highland 44-15. Finally, a viewer submission as James Johnson runs around and throws it up with three defenders in his face. Austin Blocker pulls it in for the TD. Hoxie beats Osceola 34-28. Head on over to KIT8.com to vote post close Tuesday at 8. You can see the winning play that night on Region 8 Sports at 10. On the baseball, the Cubs beat the Mets all seven times they played in the regular season, but Chicago lost Game 1 of the NLCS and looked to bounce back tonight in Game 2. There's a look at the Big Apple, that's why they call it that, as Jake Arrieta, the Cubs ace, and the Cy Young candidate on the mound, but the Mets will jump on him early. Second batter of the game, David Wright rips the ball deep to center, it's just over the head of Dexter Fowler. Curtis Granderson scores easily, the Mets take a 1-0 lead. Very next batter, Daniel Murphy with the golf swing down the line. Is it fair, is it deep enough? Yes and yes. The two-run homer puts New York up 3-0 after just three batters. Top second, Chris Coughlin crushes the ball deep to right. Granderson leaps at the wall and robs him of the home run. Noah Syndergaard loving it, and the Mets fans would love his performance. He struck out nine and allowed just one run in his five and two-thirds innings. The Mets win 4-1. And the Blake Anderson show is right after us, but the Cubs really got to get those bats going as the series shifts to Wrigley. This hurts. Yeah. This hurts. Hey, hey, there's still hope. We've got this. Spoken like a true Cubs fan. We've got it. Thanks, yeah. Colin. Stick with us. We'll be right back.